Just outside Dover this morning, the school summer holidays came to an abrupt standstill. The traffic was all heading in one direction, a four mile long queue of cars crawling all the way to the port. Cue some understandably fed up looking children, adults desperate to stretch their legs, and yet somehow, after six hours of queuing, some were still managing to smile, despite the challenges. Keeping her quiet, and then because she kicks off, she kicks off, I'm like, I don't know who to come down first, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I didn't sign up for this. We were supposed to be swimming by four o'clock this afternoon in our hotel, but I don't think we're making now. Have you missed your ferry? No. Yes. We have missed the first one. Um, I assume we've missed the second one. We're going to see if we can catch the third one. Just want to get on my holiday. Just take it as it comes. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. But not everyone can afford to take that attitude. Authorities at Dover insist they did everything to prepare for the great summer getaway, but say that this situation was beyond their control. It was all down to, or it is all down to, inadequate French immigration resourcing for the very early morning hours. We had requested for 14 officers to, to, uh, to be on hand for the early hours of this morning. We, we only achieved six. But you run the port. When will this be resolved? Regrettably, we have no control over uh, the manning of the border authorities here in Dover. And as post-COVID passenger numbers increase, a shortage of French border guards isn't the only challenge. Since Brexit, every single UK national going through this port has had to have their passport stamped. Now, stamping one passport might not take long, but multiply that by tens of thousands a day and it really starts to add up. And so after two summers of COVID, families are still struggling to get off on their holidays and travel bosses are warning that there will be more of this misery to come.